So then, we're back again. We're back again. Um, another little instalment. Uh, I think, I don't know, I can't remember what I've showed you on the, so far and what I haven't. Because um, the camera keeps running out of bloody cat, out of battery and stuff like that, you know. But anyway, we've got the, I think you know now, we've got the, the door, the tailgate actually opens now as a door. So, um, which I'm quite happy with. There's still a little bit to do. I've got to remove the rest of this bracket here because it just binds up on, the, on the, the, the door when it closes. So I need to take that bit out of there. That's a little job to do today. I want to take this bracket off here because um, it's just not needed. And this one up here, the old hinges. So they can come off. Um, and then the job for today, really, or well, the job I'm trying to get done today, is just put that pin back in, is I think I might have showed you this before. But there's a bit of give in the door there. I don't know whether the camera does it justice. So what I'm looking to do is I could just put a little bolt on there, I suppose, you know, push it tight and put a bolt on. But that wouldn't be very four-wheel drive UK, would it? Do you know what I mean? I'm, there's no struggle in that, is there? So what I'm gonna do is I've taken the old latch off um off the back of that door there. That's just the rear door off Nora, because that's knackered. So I've done is I've taken that off. Um, you can see what I've just taken off the bits. Where's the other bits? I should have filmed that really, shouldn't I? Um, so there's the rest of it. So this bit basically riveted into that bit, something like that. Do you know what I mean? You kind of know what I mean, don't you? You kind of know what I mean. So anyway, I've taken that off. And what I want to do, because I want to keep this looking as Land Rover as possible. So I want to put the Land Rover handle as a latch on here but to catch on there so it catches on this part i.e good thinking here now people good thinking i.e it will not make the tub any less waterproof because we'll keep it all outside of the tub do you see so it doesn't need to be lockable because we can put a little padlock through there see now up there for thinking down there for dancing good job i had a bit of a thinking of brew about when i was thinking about that wasn't it so that's what we're going to do today, or we're going to attempt to do today, to try and make this work like that there. And then I want to try and put, sorry, I keep running around with this bloody camera, don't I? When I've got the latch in there, I want to put a box around that to make it look like a, a proper Land Rover. So if you see what I mean, the door, the door handles are recessed, aren't they? So it sits in there and you put your hand in and lift the latch. So what I'm going to do is make a box for the back of that trailer on the, the tailgate, but use this profile here for the hand, for the hole for the, where you put your hand in to open the handle. Do you see what I'm saying? I can't just use this because this is aluminium. And clever as I might be, people, I can't weld aluminium. I've got a TIG, but I don't know how to use it. So <laughs> that's another one of the jobs on my list is to, um, to learn how to use a TIG welder. <sighs> One day, one day, if, I, if, if I'm here if I'm here long enough, that is, if I'm here long enough. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to have a go at trying to get this latch on here, and then we can look at uh, how we're going to waterproof it off. Because um, now you can see the gap's a bit tighter this side than it is this. Um, I don't know why that's happened. <laughs> But then I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? As long as it's watertight, it doesn't matter. Um, I think. I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, let's crack on with that. All right. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick it on time warp on on the tub of Nora up here on the on the roof there, so we get a decent decent view from there. I think. Let's have a quick look. Is that decent enough for you? Um, yeah, I think you'd probably get it from there. Right, so I'll stick you on time warp. I'll stop waffling on uh, and see if I can get you some decent footage. Oh, by the way, thank you ever so much for all your comments on the first episode of, of the Sankey build. I really appreciate that, you know, appreciate your time. Uh, and the couple of you there are giving me um, suggestions for the ceiling. I'll look into that. I'll look in, excuse me, I'll look into those seals. Um, but good to see that everyone's enjoying it. Uh, the views went right up on that. I was really quite impressed. Thank you very much, people. Uh, and, and thank you for all your very nice comments. I do try my best uh, and try and show you as much as I can as what I'm doing. 
Um, but like I keep saying, I'm sure you don't need to see it all. But what we'll do is we'll carry on. We'll carry on with this build. Uh, seems how there seems to be quite a bit of interest in it. So we'll carry on and we'll see what more mistakes we come across uh, and what we actually end up with. Hopefully it's going to be good. All right, stick with me. battery ran out again <laughs> a bit hopeless with all that aren't I um, but what I have done is I've managed to get this on now so we've got a kind of a working latch uh, all looks a bit Heath Robinson at the moment I know but there we go there's there all works and what I've done is I've stuck a couple of tubes in there to give it a bit of strength, I'll tidy them up. Um, so now the plan is to, to build a, a bit of a box around this. Um, so if you were looking at it from the back, it would be like looking at that. See on the door? Because on the door, the handle sits inside there, doesn't it? So what I've done is I've just got the profile of that hole there. On a piece of steel, I'll cut that out, that bit. So I'll cut, lift it out, leave the hole, and then I can offer that up and get that in the right place. And we'll box it all in. I don't think, well, I know I'm not going to be able to get it recessed without building the box all the way out. Um, so I think the best I'm going to get really is the plates to sort of fit along here, flush here, so the handle will be sticking out. So it's not going to be quite like a Land Rover where it's, it's you know, sat in uh, into, a, uh, into a box. Because to do that, I'd have to cut a big hole in the, um, in the tailgate and then build another box on the other side. I don't want it that much, people. I don't want it that much. So all I want to do really is cover up all this, the latch and stuff, and try and keep all the crap out of it. So uh, I'm just going to have a brew first. Have a brew, Ryan's just arrived. He's uh, getting his van ready there. Van, I think he's got MOT in a couple of days. Right. Friday. Friday, is it? No, um, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, MOT day. Yeah. So, not long for that, and we'll, we'll do a walk round of that at the weekend, so, maybe. Yeah, it's getting no exhaust. Oh, yeah, you're having that made? Yeah. Three inch exhaust right the way through. <laughs> three inch, three inch. <laughs> so, we'll have a walk round of that at the weekend, uh, and we'll put you a little video up somewhere of that. I know it's not four wheel drive, but it doesn't matter. It's still fun. Um, anyway, back to what we were doing. So yes, um, thinking on it, I might not actually now do that hole like that because it's gonna look daft, isn't it? And it's gonna show all that. See what I mean? So if I do a hole that big, it's gonna be sort of here. And this is gonna be sticking out past it anyway, if you see what I'm saying. 
the plate's gonna have to go. Oh, I'm really explaining myself here. The plate's gonna have to sit like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Because otherwise, I have to build a big box sticking out, and don't really want to do that. So, let me have a play about with that and figure something out. And I'll bring you back when I've decided what I'm going to do with it and show you what I'm doing with it. Um, but for now, I'm quite pleased really with that. You know, that's good, good and solid, it's going nowhere. I'm going to put a pin in there as well, just hold it back. You know? Um, I think that's alright. Yeah, happy with that. Catch you in a bit, peeps. Okay, so the... Oh, that bit done. See there now. I just put a bit of a box around it, really. I mean, obviously the welding wants to clear it up and tidy it up. But I'm not a welder, am I? I'm plaster, so I think that's not so bad, really. Uh, I'll give it a bit of a dress up once it's cooled down. But yeah, I think all I've done there is just cut down a piece of aluminium, aluminium angle uh, and just riveted it on. Um, but I think it's all right, I think. I think once it's all painted in. It's red and peeps. I don't know. Not that bad, is it? Well, it'll do anyway. It's staying on. It's not coming off. That's how it's going to be. So I haven't put a bottom on that box because I don't want it all getting full of crap and no way for it to get out. Because there's going to be water and rubbish and that get in there, obviously. So I'll just show you. Underneath, I've left that open, really. So anything that does get in through this hole here and around and about has somewhere that can fall out, really. Um, so yeah, that's, the, that's, that's about where we're at with it so far. Oh, do you know, I thought that was only going to take an hour or so. It's taken me about three. But, I don't know, we'll see. We're getting there. It doesn't look to have changed much, do you know? There seems to have a lot of work gone into it. But it doesn't such to have changed. Now, I suppose I could have just left that, do you know? I'm sure, and I know some of you will probably think, well, he could have just got any old handle to put on there. And I could have. I could have, yes. You're, you're all right. But, hey... If it was easy, everyone would do it, wouldn't they? If it was easy. We don't like making things easy here. It's, uh, it's no fun if you make it too easy. <laughs> so anyway, going to crack on. I've moved the number plate. I've got a couple of holes here that we need to... One there, one there. And there's a little hole just down behind there. Um, you see there that needs sorting out? If we get them on. Um, then I need to sort something out with wherever I put it now. There's a number plate light bracket somewhere. See, that's the the holder for the number plate. Light, and that's the bracket. So, I don't know, we need to sort something out with that as well. Um, number plate. Well, oh, that's not mine, obviously. I'm thinking of maybe banging it in the middle. Something, or just moving it over the tad. I don't know. Have a look. But that's another job that needs doing. Because um, obviously I can't leave that hanging down like that. And it wants to have a number plate light on it, doesn't it? You know? Let's try and keep it tidy. Let's try and keep it roadworthy, at least. Um, so, yeah, stick with us. Stick with me. There'll be much more to come. Uh, hopefully we get to the fun bit soon, you know, when we start putting all this kit in and uh, getting it all up and running. Because I think I've only got about four or five weeks, you know. And really, I need this thing out on the tracks. Because otherwise, I've got nowhere to sleep, peeps. I'm not sleeping indoors, that's for certain. So, I suppose I'd best get on, really, hadn't I? I'd best get on with it instead of standing here yabbling to you lot. Ah, anyway, crack on. Catch up you again soon. You know. Right then, um, next stage. So, we're not far off ready, really, now, for painting the L trailer. Um, as you know, the door's all sorted. That's in. I need to do the trim around the, the door here. But what I need to do is I need to get some more steel, some angle iron, I think, for that. Which I'll um, I'll try and source some tomorrow. Uh, Shall we get that done? I need to put a few earth points in. So what I'm going to do, battery box is going to go, as I said earlier, I think, in this space here. So I need to put an earth tab on there to earth the battery out. And I think what I'm going to do, because there's going to be lots of lights and stuff 
inside and I don't know, all sorts of bits and pieces. So rather than running earths all the way back to here, I think what I'm going to do is put a couple of earth tabs, maybe one here, one on that side, one over that side, so just, just in case, do you know what I mean? If I don't use them, we don't use them, it doesn't really matter. But I may as well put a few in, um, just in case, eh? Just in case. So I've got to do that. And then something else I'd, I'd realised that I hadn't even looked at yet is it needs some wheel arches, doesn't it? See, these tyres are staying, right, these 35s. Enough some more there. But as you can see, they stick out quite a lot. Uh, which throws a lot of mud and crap everywhere uh, and leaves them quite vulnerable, I think, really. In rocky places and stuff like that. I don't know, trees. And... So what, anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make... I've got a length of steel left over there. I think you can just make out on the floor over there. Um, so I don't know whether you can make this out. I've just put a faint line on it. So... See there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bit of an arch, I think, for this. Um, I'm going to make it out of the tube, 45 degree bends. So you now you've got to imagine this as one piece, people, yeah? One piece, not two bits or three bits. So I'm going to put this on here and make one piece. So obviously one hoop down to there. And then what I'll do is on this end, I'm going to have to cut that at an angle because what I want to do is I want to push this out like this, if you see what I mean. I don't know whether that really makes sense. So I want to get it out like that. So it acts to cover the wheel, okay? And also it acts as a bit of a rubbing bar against trees and stuff like that. And then over the top of that, I'll put some aluminium. Um, well, that's the plan anyway. You know what they say about best laid plans. But that's the plan. So. It's the last bit of tube bending we're going to do for it, really, I think. So uh, I'll set the tube bender up in the middle of the floor. I've had a bit of a tidy up and clean up, put all the stuff outside. You'll notice that um, the sleeper van's gone. That's got MOT today. Was it today? Uh, yeah, it was today. MOT today. Um, so he's out having a drive round in that. Um, so I'm going to make the most of it, really, and try and use this space. Well, I can now. Get the tube bender back out. See if I can make a couple of arches for this. Um, make it look half tidy. I think where it, where it mounts here, I'll put some square plates, I think, and weld the tube. I'll cut, when I bend the tube this way, well, obviously we have to cut it at an angle, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'm not very good at explaining stuff, am I, really? Um, and then we'll put a couple of tubes, like, here, from the body out, and another one there from the body out, just to give it a little bit of strength, I think. Um, Anyway, we'll see. It'd be a nice little shelf to have there as well, wouldn't it? You know? Um, so you think, sit out something like that, so it covers the wheel. Like that. It'd be a nice little shelf, really, to have just there. Might be handy for something. I don't know. It's going to be worth trying it. Use up the last bit of steel. So let me get that, the tube bender and everything set up. Um, and I'll bring you back and we'll have a look at... Uh, <laughs> see whether we get it right or whether we actually make them or whether it's a complete disaster uh, and I end up doing something completely different. I don't know, let's see, let's see. Right then, hopefully you can see this in this light. I don't think it's too bad with this camera actually, I think it's the other camera that plays with the lights. LED lights, I thought, oh great, LED lights, and the bloody other camera, nightmare. Anyway, I keep going on, don't I? <laughs> right, so these are the two tubes I've got cut to the size on there. So what I've done is I've measured that, and you'll see I've got 1350 written there. What I've basically done is um, measured round. So yeah, this is the point here where there's the end of the tube. See, so I've measured that from there and there. Mirrored that, that side there. Okay, boring stuff I know, but just in case you wanted to know. And then what I've done is I've measured from that point all the way around that curve that I've marked on, and that gives me 1350. Straightforward enough? Okay, so what I've then done is got two tubes at 1.4, 1400. All right, center points on those, 700. And these ones here, you'll remember, you may remember, you may not remember, you might not be interested, I don't know, but I told you about starts of bends and ends of bends and stuff like that on the tube bender. 
So the start of the bend is that there. So this point, remember? Length of the bend will always be the same, regardless of the angle. <laughs> See, straight forward, straight forward. I wish. Right, so those points there, there, I've got from using, I've got a 45 degree. Right, so that now, people. Another thing, from there, all the way around into there, that's half a circle, isn't it? 180 degrees. 180 degrees all the way around, that is. So, if I wanted to do this square, like the wheel arch, obviously it'd be 90 there and 90 there. But that'd look shite, wouldn't it? Really, I think that would, I think it would. So what I've done is I've just gone with 45s. 45 here, 45 there. So, what I've done is offered that up. I fed it up there. In fact, I've got them in the wrong place, haven't I? <laughs> Good job I've looked at this again. See what I say, peeps, about measuring 600 times. That's the end of the tube that I had that mark there, look. Oh, good job I checked that, innit? <laughs> right, let, let me go and remark this now so it's correct. And then I can remark those so they're correct. And then we make the, the, the right wheel arch. Give me a second. Okay, so scratch that last bit. <laughs> that's actually the start of the bend. And that's the start of the bend on this, on this side. All right, so all I'm gonna do is measure the distance between that one and that one, because we know we want it in the center. And then whatever that is, we'll transfer onto there. All right, so I get that done. Now that we've got the measurements right. Um, and then we'll have a look at bending this tube and see how it works out. See whether it's gonna look a, a mess or whether it'll actually look okay. In my mind's eye, it looks sound. But my mind's eye is a bit weird sometimes. Well, more than sometimes, quite often, to be honest. But then you don't need to know about that kind of thing. So let's get on with, uh, with doing this. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Right, so there's the first one there, bent. Hopefully you'll be able to see a bit more. I know I talk in riddles, I know that, I know. Bear with me, eh? <laughs> um, so what I want to do is have that, instead of having it flat like this, and building it out all the way like that, like everyone does. What I want to do is I want to angle it like that. Do you see what I mean? So that at the top there, you get a nice little shelf, but at the bottom it cut, you know, the, the side, front and the back, it sort of cuts in. If you see what I mean. I think that's a good idea. Um, and that's what I'm doing anyway, whether it's a good idea or not. <laughs> but anyway, that's number one made. So, uh, getting old, you know, all this bending down and being on my bloody knees on the floor all the time. Oh, I just can't be arsed setting all that up on the bench. There's only one more dude, piece to, to do. So uh, I just have a, a quick bit of monster and a bifter, and then we'll crack on. Um, so yeah, we'll crack on, we'll make the other side. Um, then I need to work out angles of well, how we're going to cut the ends and make a couple of little plates and a couple of little tubes to go down the side. But uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what fun it is trying to get that right. <laughs> Maybe it's not fun at all. Um, right, stick with me, stick with me. I'm sorry if I'm boring you, but stick with me. Okay, right, before I bend this last one, because I know I've gone on a bit about starts and the ends of these bends when you're using a tube bender. Now, I might be teaching my grandmother how to suck eggs here because a lot of you will already know this but I've been asked a, a couple of times for a bit more information on the, on what I'm doing with the tube bending and that now I'm no expert at this you know that but like I said before I, I watched a, a guy on YouTube called um, I'm sure it's Urch Fab Urch Fab I think it is U-R-C-H F-A-B Urch Fab he does all roll cages and all sorts of stuff proper clever guy like um, and explains things in a way that even i can understand so the start of the bend like i was saying before i've, mar I've marked here so the center of the bend is clearly going to be in there isn't it so the start of the bend is here on, on the center of this axis and the end of the bend's there so i think that makes more sense now i guess so 
when I say start and the end of the bend, so the start of the bend is there, okay, on the centre of that axis, and if you do that all the way around, the end of the bend will, will end up lined up there. And that length will always be the same. I may have told you this before. <laughs> I don't know, you know what my memory's like. But I just thought I'd just clarify that in case I haven't said it before. And in case anyone's interested. So I'm going to crack on now, anyway, and bend this tube up. And then we'll come back where we're trying to find some angles um, of how we're going to get these things to look right on the, on the trailer. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm making this bend, right? There's my 45. And as it happens, we're doing 45, so it works. Um, if you weren't doing it with a, a bend, you've got a standard bend that you're get one made, then you'd have your angle finder or something like that on top, wouldn't you? But anyway, so just as you can see, look directly over the top there, you can pretty much see that's directly over the top of that tube. And then if you see there, it looks like it's just gone too far. And it has. What I always tend to do is take it just that little bit too far and it allows the spring back in the in the pipe. So as you watch now, as I take the least pressure, see how that's, that's sprung back now. And it's pretty much perfect. Even never do say so myself. And there, as if by magic, you have two the same. Well, very similar. Now you can see ever so slightly, why I'm not using this stuff as a cage. Right, if you look here, this is, see it's just starting to ripple ever so slightly. It's only a very thin wall, this stuff. I think it's 1.6 mil or something like that. If you're looking to make a cage, something that's going to take some kind of structure, um, I think you'd be looking more like 3.5 mil or 3.8 or something like that. But, like I've said, peeps, none of this is structural, really, is to the point where, you know, roll gauges. Um, so it'll do for the job, and it's cheaper. Much, much cheaper. Right, I'm going to go and see if I can work out some angles on this now. And I can't really hold the camera and hold this and an angle finder. So you're just going to have to bear with me. And trust me when I say I found the angle that, that way, because there's no other way I know how to do it. Anyway, stick with me. I'll come back in a bit. That turned out to be more of a job than I thought it was going to be. But everything does, doesn't it? Everything does. Look, it's gone dark out there, peeps. I didn't realise the time. Bloody 10 o'clock. Everywhere's dark. Anyway, see what I mean now? You see where I'm coming from? It just covers the arch. I don't know what's going on with this bloody camera. So the battery's low, it's got 44%. Anyway, um, yeah, that's fella. We're back. We're back. Right. Like I was saying, before the bloody batteries keep running out, shit with these batteries, mate. Um, it's got a little bit of fettling. I had a nightmare getting these getting these right, these angles here, and I still haven't got them quite right. You'll probably see there's still a little bit of a gap there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is probably cut them off and plate the ends. Um, but it's the effect I was after. You see what I mean from the front? So over the top of that then, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll put a plate over the top of that piece of aluminium over the top. So what do you think, peeps? Is it worth all the bloody hassle or what? I don't know. I don't know whether it is, and I've only done one side. Um, hopefully the other side will be a bit easier, because I did about five different tries of different ways of putting it on. Um, this is a trouble when you're not really into fabrication and stuff like that, you know? Uh, but I don't know. Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it'll look OK at the end. If not, we know we've cut them off, can't we? Go and buy some plastic ones from Pit Stop. <laughs> like as if. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it a, a, a night tonight. Um, uh, I haven't got as much done as I wanted to, but I've got a bit done, you know, got a bit done. Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm doing Ben's ball joints on his, uh, on his disco. Things are falling apart. There it is, they're falling apart. I think he needs bushes doing as well. I don't know whether I get time to do them for him. But um, try and get his uh, ball joints done tomorrow. And then maybe, if they don't take all day, we'll get on and make another one of them there for the other side. 
Um, and I need to put some, like, I think some, for earlier, I need to put some earth tabs in. I need to get some inch angle lines to go around here to make my seal around the tub. And then we're going to empty everything out. And I found out some epoxy, look, some epoxy primer there. So we'll give it a good cut of, of epoxy. <coughs> I'd like to think, people, that by the end of this weekend, um, without I'm out on Sunday, but by the end of the weekend, the bank holiday weekend, I'd like to think that we've got this all based out in Raptor now, at least the, the you know the bottom of it, because um, we're going to do we're going to go with the black Raptor on this and all the bars and everything else, and then I think the uh, the alley on the outside will do a different colour maybe. So uh, yeah, not a, not a bad evening, not the most productive evening, but you get days like this, don't you? Sometimes you'll get on with something and it'll work really well and straightforward and oh that was nice and easy. I don't get, tend to get many of them days, I've got to be honest. Um, but anyway, let's crack on. Uh, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to have a shower, grab something to eat, get a few hours kip, eh? Back to it tomorrow. Catch up with you soon. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, God, oh, God.